G'day folks. This afternoon I'm back at a spot that's been fishing well for me lately, but I'm here for an afternoon session. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Now with just a couple of hours of daylight left, I've decided to come down here to one of my local spots that I'm allowed to go to, and I've got Brett with me. He's just about to stick his head out from the other side of the bridge. There he is, way down there. He's uh, christening a brand new fishing rod that he brought. Anyway, same as when I was here the other morning. Two rods, worms on each rod, and this time I've actually got a full punnet of worms with me. I apologise for the repetitiveness of my videos at the moment. It's all local bait fishing. But for those of you watching from another part of the world or another part of Australia or something here where I live in the state of Victoria, we are in lockdown. We're still in COVID lockdown. It's been going on for 18 months, but anyway, it is what it is. But one of the rules is we can go fishing, but we're not allowed to go more than five kilometers from home. So that's why the, uh, that's why a lot of my videos are a little bit repetitive. There is a bit of a rumor at the moment that regional Victoria, where I live, might come out of lockdown next week, which means I'll be able to go up in the hills and chase some trout and go fishing for other species in other areas. But for now, just bear with me. Hopefully soon enough, I'll be able to travel a bit more and uh, go on some wicked adventures. And I've got a few things planned, let me tell you. I was just reading on the news here about that guy that's taken Qantas to court. He's taken Qantas to court because his luggage went missing. He lost his case. <laughs> <laughs> run, Brett, run, run, run. <laughs> Brett just had a bite. I just had a nibble now. It's all happening. I just had a really nice bite on this rod here. Getting a few bites on this rod here. There is his back. Something's playing with this worm. There was a platypus. Just saw a platypus come down the river. And the moment I reached my hand up to hit the record button on my GoPro, it went straight under. <laughs> Brett's getting bites on both rods, but the problem is, got his ones way up there, and the other ones way down there. <laughs> oh, thinking about going home soon. Brett's just packing up now and heading home. The street lights are only just coming on. So I reckon I'll give it another quarter of an hour or so yet until I can't see. Here we go. Come on. Wishing I had a running sinker rig on here. Can't help but think that whatever is nibbling this frog is feeling the weight of the rod. I'm oh, still playing with it. Come on. Got him. <laughs> I've got it. What is it? It's very small, but what is it? It is a... <laughs> You're not going to believe it. You are not going to believe it. It's a bloody red fin. No, it's not. It's a Macquarie perch. You beauty. A lovely little Macquarie perch. I thought it was a red fin because he's got like colourful marks on him, like a pattern on him. I'll get a real quick photo of him and then I'll put him back. Shit. I bloody forgot to, I just, uh, I held my headlamp up and I, sh I held the headlamp up with the fish in the in frame and everything for you to get a good look at it and I spoke about it and I wasn't bloody filming. Uh, I wish I had a dollar for every time I've done that. Idiot. Right, I'll put my line back in. I'm not going to just give it another five or ten minutes just in case there's a second one hanging around. I feel sorry for Brett because he'd only just left when I caught that fish. But what I will also say is that I'm absolutely kicking myself because I got my uh, my O light, my Perrin 2 headlamp, this one here. I got it out. I put it on the uh, I put it on the low setting so that it wasn't too bright. I held the fish up in front of the camera and gave you all a really good look at it before I released it so you could see what they looked like. And then I released it. And then I went to push stop and I pushed start. Every YouTuber's nightmare when they're using a GoPro. Someone said to me in the video comments last time I'd done this, don't worry Robbie, you'll get the hang of it one day. Uh, I'm not sure that I will, to be quite honest. <laughs> Macquarie perch are a very finicky feeder. They've got a really small little nibble. Got him. I have got another one. Oh, I lost him. 
I did too, I lost him. I lost him at the surface. It was a similar size fish, actually possibly even a little bit smaller. And I reckon it was another macker, you know. Well folks, one fish beats no fish every time. But when that one fish is an endangered species such as a Macquarie perch, well that's just fantastic. I caught a Macquarie perch, I saw a platypus. The health of the river is amazing at the moment. It was great to catch up with Brett. Short video this one, but I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, why not give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.